Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead. And I found a chicken in the freezer. Didn't think I had any left. So you know what that means. One chicken, how many meals? Our chicken is done, and with our chicken, I'm going to make garlic butter uh, seared carrots and mashed potatoes, and we're gonna have gravy. And I'm gonna make extra mashed potatoes so that I can wind this whole video up in one. This is going to be for my um, casserole after supper. And of course, Four jars always pops. Okay, so first, I'm gonna take the water off of the carrots. I'll use some of the carrot and bean water for gravy. And then the rest will go in the crock pot for, you guessed it, soup. Yes, four jars always pops. There's our bean water, because we're gonna use the beans in the casserole after the fact. I'm going to put my kettle on for our instant mashed potatoes and I'll be right back to make the gravy. Now this pan, in this pan, is our chicken juice and in this jar is some vegetable water and some flour. It's good time to use a good time to use your not four jars lids. Now we're just going to pour this right in there just like that and we're going to start and in the pot behind sorry in this pot here i've got butter melting now we're going to pour now we're going to pour vegetable juice in there yum and bring this back up to a boil. Here's our almost burnt butter. And in goes our carrots. And we're just going to run them around in that butter. And then we're going to put lots of garlic, folks. It's, and we're going to saute them, just rub, let them heat up in that garlic butter add some parsley whoa not that much parsley well let's see that's a lot of parsley folks but you know what it's going to be beautiful finish stirring our gravy and i'm going to whip up my instant mashed potatoes and we'll be right back all right here's howie's plate we got our herb carrots herb and garlic carrots our instant mashed potatoes and he's got a leg and a wing we're gonna take some of this gravy and we're just gonna pour that right on over there like that we'll pepper this and take it to Papa meal number one roast chicken dinner okay here's your roast chicken dinner now this is meal number one you're getting chicken in your lunch tomorrow and I'm making a casserole after supper and then I'm gonna make soup that was a kiss. Do you like the carrots? Yeah. They're, uh, I know carrots aren't always your favorite, so I do what I can to dress them up occasionally. Mm. Try awesome. your potatoes and gravy. I did. Oh, did you? Awesome. Thank you, darling. All right, folks. I'm going to take this butter, and I'm going to butter with this casserole dish a little bit. There's our crock pot for our soup. Um, I'll leave a link on my homemade chicken soup in the description below. Here is our casserole dish. This is meal number two, three, and Howie's lunch will be four. So first things first. I am going to put the dog out, Howard. I'm going to take the meat off the carcass what's left of the carcass here 
And we're going to leave the neck on. We're going to take the skin here from the breast, we'll throw that in there. And there's the carcass with some meat and the neck. Perfect. There it is, perfect for soup. In goes the rest of that vegetable oil. Sorry, the rest of the vegetable juice. I'm going to add some water and put this, some water and salt, and put this to cook overnight. Here's our leftover mashed potatoes, an egg, and mayonnaise. But first, we're going to cut up some of this meat. Uh oh, there. Little bone. Um, so that Howard can have some in his lunch tomorrow. Here's Howard's lunch for tomorrow. Chicken? No, Gracie, you're getting none of this. It was a very small chicken. Really isn't a lot in there, is there? That's okay. Because we're going to add some green beans. The rest of the gravy. We're just going to sweep it right out of here with a spatula. We're just going to mix up all that meat. Now remember, this is just for two people, so it doesn't have to be a lot. Yes, Gracie, you can lick the pot. I'm going to take these leftover mashed potatoes. And I'm going to mix in uh, about a half a cup of mayonnaise, an egg. I'm going to whip this all together. Should have pulled out the electric mixer, but cookie scoop. And I'm going to just drop this potato mixture in lovely little potato balls. And just fill in any holes. Just like that. And this is going into the freezer for a day later this week. Maybe even Sunday dinner. This will probably be soup tomorrow or the next day. I'm due to make some noodles soon. We had a roast chicken dinner. We have a chicken potato bake for later this week. Howie's having chicken salad sandwiches in his lunch tomorrow, and we're having soup this week. One very small chicken, four meals. That's making that quarter go <coughs> Take care, God bless, Mwah. And remember folks, if you're not using four jars canning lids, you're missing out. Heavier than any other single use lids on the market, they are a US company, and these lids are of superior quality. The only lids I will use. Check the description box below this video for the link and use the coupon code HALFACRE for 10% off. Orders over $50 ship free within the USA. Check them out on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube. They make the perfect gift for the home canner in your life. Four jars lids. You can't go wrong.